Brendan's been covering this story from the very beginning. Brendan, thanks for your time. The president and uh, top New York Democrats all say they want the governor to voluntarily step down. Will that make any difference to him? I don't believe it will, Shepard. He's, um, he's indicated from the beginning that he will not accept the results of this investigation. They started sowing that seed weeks ago. Um, it, it, it was an indication to us that the governor knew that this report was going to be damaging. And they started these talking points of saying it's politically motivated, that the investigator is biased because he had investigated Cuomo in a prior corruption uh, probe. So he is standing his ground. He's given no indication that he'll step down. But the, but the week is young, too. And, and we're hearing so much about impeachment and how they're going to carry it out quickly. Is that just talk, or when could that begin? That could begin as soon as the assembly decide. They could be called back for a special session, which they would probably do to initiate these proceedings. The Judiciary Committee, which is leading the impeachment investigation, is also scheduled to meet Monday if they don't convene sooner. Um, you know, Carl Hasty, the Speaker of the Assembly, the leader of the Assembly, has indicated that they will fast track this. Now he's he's finally thrown aside his alliance with the governor, and and indicated that they will use the information they've gotten from the attorney general as well as their own to initiate impeachment proceedings. But one thing about New York state government, nothing moves swiftly. Yeah. You, you've been covering the Governor Cuomo for a long time. Was, was this, were there rumblings of this? Yes. That, in other words, that how damaging this report would be. I, actually, I meant of a workplace as described today by the AG. Oh, yes. I mean, you know, our stories and, and others over the past several months have have detailed severe allegations. You know, what the attorney general did today was essentially cast him as a serial sexual harasser and his administration as his enabler that, you know, the, the efforts were made to cover up many of these allegations, discredit the accusers and protect the governor at all costs. We saw that in, in December. It's, it's troubling now looking back, and it was outlined in this report today. It was the first time that we learned what had gone on. Uh, in December, we had asked the governor's office and the state police about his alleged directive to have a young female trooper assigned to his protective services detail back right. in 2017. They not only denied it to us and lied about changing the standards to get her on the detail, they, they also, um, uh, you know, just just manipulated the truth around what happened with that incident. And it turns out that she became a victim of him uh, and was one of the 11 victims identified today. Brendan Lyons from the Times Union in Albany. Thanks so much, Brendan.